The first of the Aviva Premiership semi-finals took place on Friday night as Northampton hosted Leicester at Franklin's Gardens. The visitors were looking to make it four in a row at Northampton for the first time since 1998 and went into the lead after nine minutes. Toby Flood playing his final game in a Tigers shirt before moving on to Toulouse next season, knocking over the penalty. Stephen Myler then got one back to level things at 3 all before Manu Tuilangi bagged the first try of the game. Flood with the offload and the England centre had the easiest of finishes. Flood converted and the Tigers looked firmly on top. However, they were soon down to 14 men. Nicky Gonover sent to the sin bin for kicking the ball away from a ruck from an offside position. Myler slotted the resulting penalty to close the gap to four, but Tigers soon stretched that once again. Another England international, Ben Youngs, this time with the finish. Boss Richard Cockrell delighted with the outcome. And in similar fashion to the first try, Flood would convert and Leicester would soon have a man sent to the bin. Dan Bowden, this time the guilty party, shown yellow by referee JP Doyle for an illegal tip tackle. Myler again kicked the points from a penalty, and there was more ill discipline to follow. Tom Youngs and Celesi Marfu involved in an off the ball scrap. The Leicester hooker Youngs yellow carded for starting it. Marfu sent off permanently for finishing it. With both teams down to 14, George North made use of the extra space to crash over from short range. And following a Myler conversion, the Saints moved to within a point. Owen Williams slotted a penalty with just under 10 minutes to go to give the Tigers some breathing space. But in a frantic finish, it was 14-man Northampton who would have the last laugh. Blindside flanker Tom Wood showing the finishing skills of a winger as he cut back inside and forced his way over, giving his side the slenderest of victories. Northampton booking their place in the Aviva Premiership Showpiece final on May 31st. Final score at the Gardens, Northampton 21, Leicester 20. The second of the Aviva Premiership semi-finals saw table toppers Wasps host fourth place finishers Leicester Tigers at the Rico Arena. And what on paper appeared a much more one-sided affair than Exeter against Saracens. Rugby matches, however, aren't played on paper, and this was far from the Wasps' route, many predicted. Fresh from being crowned the Aviva Premiership Player of the Season, Jimmy Gopeth opened the scoring inside the first minute with a well-struck penalty. On the board again, six minutes later, this time through a try from Wallaby Kirtley Beale. He played a neat one-two with South Africa's Willie LaRue before touching down. Gopeth's conversion making the score 10-0. After the early Wasps onslaught, Leicester finally found their tempo and dragged themselves back into it through two Freddie Burns penalties. The Tigers fly half looking to end his spell at the club with a trip to Twickenham next weekend. Gopeth struck with another penalty to extend Wasps' lead to seven points, but five minutes later and the scores would be level. Leicester's own wallaby Peter Beetham touching down, leaving Burns with an easy conversion. Gopeth then missed a penalty five minutes before the break but immediately made amends with an excellent strike to make the score 16-13 at half-time. After being 10 points down nine minutes in, Leicester would find themselves ahead on the 50-minute mark. Toulouse Viani, the man to touch down, sending the travelling fans into raptures. Burns converted to make the score 20-16, but from there on out, Wasp were relentless in their pursuit of a try that would see them retake the lead. Dai Young's men spurned a number of opportunities in the opposition red zone. But they kept the pressure on and were finally rewarded with two minutes remaining. Josh Bassett going over in the corner after good hands from LaRue and Gopeth. Gopeth did miss the conversion, but it mattered not. The home side comfortably seeing out the final 60 seconds to book their place in next weekend's showpiece. Exeter await at Twickenham, a fitting finale featuring the top two sides over the league campaign. Final score from the Rico Arena, Wasps 21, Leicester Tigers 20. The first of the Aviva Premiership semi-finals was a repeat of last season's finale as Northampton hosted Saracens. It was a full house at Franklin's Gardens with the home support in full voice, but they were quickly stunned into silence by their opponents. Duncan Taylor brilliantly chasing down a David Strettel kick with the latter on hand to receive the offload and touch down for the opening score. Barrel's conversion had them 7-0 ahead, but they would soon be down to 14 men. Northampton beginning to turn the screw up front, and Mako Vunapola shown a yellow card after he was deemed to have collapsed the Saints' rolling ball. 
The plan from the next line out didn't change for Jim Malinder's men, and this time referee Greg Garner had no choice but to award the penalty try, which was easily converted by Stephen Myler. Barrel this time the guilty party. Ian Myler exchanged a couple of penalties each before the break, with the latter levelling things up at 13 all right on the stroke of half time. And Myler would repeat the trick just after the break to see Northampton ahead for the first time in the match. It wouldn't last long though as Saracens fought back with a rolling ball of their own. Look at Jamie George controlling the ball at the back and powering over with the rest of his pack to reclaim the lead for his side. Farrell again added the extras and after he nailed another penalty, Saris had marched into a seven-point lead. Saints were not to be cut adrift though and in a match characterised by powerful forward play, it was yet another more that did the job for the hosts. Tom Wood a score in last season's semi-final against Leicester getting himself on the score sheet once again. Myler's misconversion meant Saris still held the lead with just under 20 minutes to go, and after Farrell slotted a second of two penalties in the next 15 minutes, Saints had a mountain to climb with just three minutes to go. And with one minute left on the clock, Myler notched three points to get them within a score. However, it was not to be as Saracens claim revenge for their defeat in last year's final. A Twickenham date was booked in the diary for them as they awaited the result of the second semi-final to see who their opponents would be. The final score from the Gardens, Northampton 24, Saracens 29. Semi-final day in the Aviva Premiership got underway at Sandy Park on Saturday with Exeter hosting Saris in a repeat of last year's final. With two weeks to get themselves geared up, the Chiefs will have gone into the match the much fresher of the two sides. Saracens antics in Edinburgh last weekend, meaning their preparations were somewhat shorter than their rivals. However, it was the European champions who made the brighter start with a strong Sandy Park win behind them, Owen Farrell kicking them into a 6-0 lead. What's up, of course? It wasn't all good news for Mark McCall, though, as he lost two key players to injury in between Farrell's early penalties. Michael Rhodes and Chris Ashton both going off, replaced by Schalk Berger and Mike Ellery, respectively. Exeter were seeing a lot of the ball, but with a strong win, were turning down three-point chances. They continued their hard work, though, and were rewarded with two penalties that Gareth Steenson slotted with ease. Six all the score, and that's how it would stand at the break. Into the second period, and the home side would strike the first blow. Jack Knoll with the poacher's finish after some thrilling build-up play. Steenson adding the extras. In true Sarri's fashion, though, the reigning champions would rally and get their first try of the encounter through Chris Wiles, the American finishing well, hurting himself in the process. Farrow couldn't convert, though, leaving the score at 13-11. Saracens had found another gear, and with replacements in the mould of Schalke Brits, they were really turning the screw. The South African instrumental in them taking the lead with five minutes to play, but all plaudits were rightly directed at Mike Ellery as he somehow found a way to touch down over the top of a despairing Henry Slade. Farrell again missed with the extras, leaving the gap at just three points. All Exeter were after was just one more chance, and they got that through the gigantic boot of Slade. After his side won a scrum penalty, the England international delivered a pinpoint kick to touch, leaving his side just seven metres out. And the forwards did the rest, Sam Simmons the beneficiary at the back of the rolling mall, as Exeter sealed a memorable win in front of a rapturous Sandy Park crowd. Final score from the southwest coast, Exeter Chiefs 18, Saracen 16. Saracen set up a return to Twickenham and a repeat of last year's final against Leicester with victory over Gloucester at Vicarage Road. A scrappy but hard-fought semi-final was awash with penalties, or more specifically missed penalties, as the win played havoc with strikes off the kicking tee. Richard Wigglesworth was first to miss for the home team and he was soon followed by Alex Goode after the video ref had denied James Short an early try. Owen Farrell had the next shot at goal and he was also off target. Nicky Robinson then missed for the visitors and it wasn't until the 17th minute when Saris were awarded a penalty right in front that Farrell finally opened the scoring. A break from the impressive shout Brit set up Farrell for a second penalty six minutes later. Again in front of the posts, and again the 19-year-old took advantage. The visitors showed some sparks of the play that had brought them 10 tries the previous week against Sale. But when their best chance came, 
Robinson threw the ball over the head of Charlie Sharples. But Robinson did eventually get his team on the board just before half-time. A 6-3 lead was soon 9-3 as Farrell claimed his third penalty immediately after the restart. But with Sarri's skipper Steve Borthwick in the sin bin, Gloucester did score after a Farrell drop goal was charged down. James Simpson Daniel feeding the wasp bound Robinson to go under the post and make it a one-point game. With the conversion, Gloucester hit the front and perhaps an unlikely victory loomed. But with seven minutes to go, Sharples was penalised for not rolling away and Farrell's temperament held to knock over the winning kick. Sarri's coming through 12 points to 10 to claim their 12th successive victory in the Premiership and set up the chance of revenge at Twickenham.